Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to the final part of my how to lay out a website tutorial in the previous parts, which I have links to above. We created this, which works really great as an opening page, but works absolutely horrible if you want to actually show articles. So in this tutorial, I'm going to create the article part of our website. What I'm going to do is, uh, this is totally out of my head, 100% this time, I have no guidance at all. What I know I want to do is I want to replace these two columns here with one big column, and I'm going to put articles inside of it, and I'm going to lay out everything to the point that it looks nice to me. Now, I know right here and on the left side of the screen, if you can't see this, you can watch it full screen, high, high def. What I'm going to do is just get rid of these middle two columns. So I'm just going to select it, pass the second middle container, and the whole way down to where it says beginning of right sidebar, as you can see right here on the screen. I'm going to delete all of it. It's all gone. So I have beginning of middle bar. I'm going to change that to beginning of article. So now i got to create everything inside of this guy. So again, I'm going to create another div, and I'm going to call this, give it class type is equal to content column. And then I need to close it off, of course, and throw in a comment here so that I know where it's been closed off. And then I'm going to focus in here because I really don't know how this is going to adapt or look. I'm going to create content container. This is going to hold all the content for the article and I'm going to close off that div and I'm going to comment it of course all right so I got those two divs created so just remember content column and content container so now I'm going to scroll up to the CSS code and start laying this guy out all right so I put a comment in here beginning of article styling and this is where I'm going to start off styling this guy now remember I said content column and it's a class so there's a period in front of it just gonna style this guy all right so my width well I know from previously looking at this guy here the width of just one column is 260 so I'm just gonna guess that my width for this guy is gonna be right around 540 pixels just a guess don't need to be exact up front. And of course, I'm going to float it to the left so that it butts up next to that other column. And for now, that's all I'm going to put inside of there. Then we have content container. And for this guy, we're going to borrow heavily from the middle container that was used before and just move some things around, change a couple things where it makes sense to change them. Background color is still going to be white. We're still going to have exactly the same border. Margin, I'm going to leave it at 10 pixels, see how it works out. I'm going to change this to 540 because that's what we did previously. Height, I'm going to let this be auto because I don't know how long the article is going to be. And padding, I'm going to take it up to 5 pixels just so we have everything laid out real nice inside of that. And then just for now, I'm going to put a height for this guy. So I increased my height down here. I'm going to make this auto, of course, but I'm going to increase it just so I can lay out everything here right on the screen so everything looks nice and tight. All right, so this is pretty much lined up inside of here, except for the fact that the margin isn't good. So I'm going to have to put a margin inside of there. So I'm going to go into content column, and I'm going to say margin right is equal to 15 pixels. And I'm lining everything else up so that I have that right. Don't have to worry quite so much. All right, so that's moving that over. So that's a little bit better, but you can see the margin right on here is pretty much exactly the same as that. So what that tells me is this guy actually needs to get bigger. And I would say it needs to get bigger by about 20 pixels. So what I'm going to do is change this to 560, and we'll see if we're right. 560, file save, see if that looks a little better. All right, it looks pretty good, but it actually could go a little bit further. So let's change this to 570. And we'll change this to 570. So these are just two divs inside of each other. Reload, and that looks just about perfect. Okay, so now we know this middle container is great. All right, so we can worry about the content that goes inside of it. So content container, because it's going to contain articles, we want the height to be auto. And content column actually doesn't even need to have a height. So it's going to stretch as all the content goes inside of it. But we know that we have this all pretty tightly wound together here. So we'll scroll back down till we get to beginning of article. And we are pretty happy about the fact that we have pretty much everything lined up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to put in a div that's gonna have these little purple title blocks in the upper right hand corner. So just create another div, class is equal to, and we're gonna call this content title. Very much like we have with everything else. We're gonna put H4 tags inside of here. No reason to change it. And we'll just put article inside of there just to denote that it's an article. We'll close off the div and because it's so short, there's no reason to put anything else inside of there. Then what I wanna do is I wanna actually put the article name. I wanna put a little bit more emphasis on it this time. So we're gonna create another div and it's gonna be class is equal to, and I'm just gonna call it content art title. And I'm gonna bold it just so it stands out and I'm just gonna stick with this whole 
Facebook marketing thing. Those are those bold tags and divot. All right, so now we got that. Then what I'm going to want to do, because in the next part of the tutorial, I'm actually going to turn this into a WordPress site. Thinking about that, create a div. And the class type here is going to be equal to, I'm going to call it content art date. I'm actually going to put a couple more things in there than just the date. But for now, this is going to stand because the date's going to be the most important. And I'm going to bold it as well. And then I'm going to put something like posted by admin September 22, 2011. In Facebook marketing. What this is, is I'm thinking about the fact that inside of WordPress, it's very often smart to, to put a category that the article's stored inside. Of course, you can still do this sort of stuff with a plain website, so don't think that you can't. And I'm going to put 18 comments, which we're going to pull dynamically from inside of WordPress, or just get rid of it if you're doing a regular old website. So then we got all that. Well, then I want to put in a horizontal rule as well. And in this situation, I want my horizontal rule to be longer. So I'm going to create a new horizontal rule. Now I'm just going to call it content rule like that and uh, a div. And then we have our actual content. So I'm going to put, like I always do, I always put the content inside of paragraph tags. Not that you have to, you can put it in a div, just the way I do it. And even though it's not an excerpt, I'm sort of just doing it that way. doesn't matter. You can change the names, do whatever you want. And then I want to put an image inside of there. And I know I have an images folder. However, I forget what the image name is. Oh, it's Biz Woman. So let's just copy that. And it's a JPEG. And this is 150 by 150. I know I did check that. All right. So just put bizwoman.jpg And then close that off. So that's the location of the image. And I'm going to say Alt is equal to. And uh, I don't know. I'm just going to put Featured Image for now. And I do know the width is equal to 150 pixels because I look and height is 150 pixels. I just think that looks nice. Class is equal to uh, content image so that I can style that image. And then I need some lorem ipsum to throw inside of there and I always have that just sitting around here looking awesome. Got it. So I'm going to jump over inside of here and I'm going to paste some lorem ipsum inside of it and just so that it's more like a regular sort of guy meaning an article by kind of guy. I put little break statements inside here. So it's just going to have take up some space inside of this guy. All right, so that's fine. And then I'm going to close off my paragraph tag, which surrounds everything. And that is pretty much going to do it. I mean, I just have to style this, of course, but that's in regards to the HTML. That's all that needs to be done. So let's scroll up. And along the way, we're going to pretty much do a lot of copy in here. Here's middle title. I know I'm going to borrow heavily from that. So let's just copy it right now. And then we're here in beginning of article styling. Well, oh, I called this content title down below. And this is the little guy in the purple box here, if you don't know. This guy right here is what we're going to be putting inside of there. I'll scroll it over here so we can see it right here on the screen. You can watch it being built. Let's paste this inside of there. Okay, so I know I'm using pretty much exactly the same sort of things. Now we're going to have to be moving things around a lot more. The width, the height, all that should be the same. It's going to be text aligned right because it's going to be on the right side of the bar. Padding right, I don't know, keep that at seven pixels. That should be about right. And then I got to position it relative. So this increased quite dramatically. Let, let's change this to 350 pixels. That means I want to move it 350 pixels from where it is. And we'll leave everything else the same. Just see what it looks like. Reload. Oh, look at that. It's all right. <laughs> see, just that little bit. Now, there obviously need styling here, but looking pretty tight. All right, so I kind of like the way that this has this little bit of space. It makes it set out a little bit more than the other ones. I want to try and do that with the same thing. So let's move it over just a little bit. Let's try, um, um, let's try 70. Reload. Okay, it's not quite there. Let's take it to 5. 75, that is. Pretty tight. Not quite right, though. All right, let's take it to 7. Reload. That is perfect. Okay, so there's all the styling I need to put that together. Now I need to style these guys. Now remember, I want to put more emphasis on these guys. So, and the name of this Facebook marketing that's here on the screen is Content Art Title. Content Art Title. That's the Facebook marketing that you see right there. And we'll come in here. I'm going to actually copy this font, but I am going to change it. All right, so I want to put more emphasis on it. So let's say I want to take it up to, I don't know, 28. And I have a little handy chart that I look at all the time, and it gives me line spacing based off of pixels, but either way. All right, so I just know that it's going to be right around that position. And then aside from that, I want to put a little bit more emphasis on this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of padding on the left, and let's say uh, just four pixels just to make it stand out. File save it, reload it. All right, now there's more emphasis on that article. That's looking tight. So now what we got to do is the content art date. Content art date. Having a good day here. And I kind of like the way that looks. Of course, we're going to have to put some padding on the left. And let's make it four pixels because the other one uh, worked really good. However, I want to move it up a little bit. So I am going to position it relative. 
where it is. And I want to move it up, say, 10 pixels. See how that looks. And if we want to move it up, we put negative inside there. And let's see how it looks. Pretty tight. All right. So that's all coming in line there. All right. So now let's jump in here and let's start looking at this image that we have. Let's go content image like that. And let's say we want to float it left. Reload. Okay. So all of the text went up there real nice and tight. We like that. All right. So what else do I want to do? Well, I'll put some padding on the right. So I don't want the text right next to my image. That looks horrible. So let's say five pixels. Oh, and all the code that I have here on the screen is uh, available underneath this video. And padding bottom, let's say five pixels. That looks good. Kind of like the padding on the left. So let's say that I want to change that. And I could do short CSS. I didn't do that, but whatever. I just want to put a little bit on there, padding left and padding top. I don't know, let's just say five pixels, just in case this image was not up here so that it would line up nice. File save, reload. Now the image is laying in there a lot nicer, a little bit of padding, it really, really, really helped. So what do we have left now? We need to put a horizontal rule underneath of the date. So let's go horizontal, content, roll. And I'm going to go find the other horizontal roll that was used. Use it as a guide. So there that is. Copy. Pretty much what we're going to be changing with this guy. Not much. Background color is going to stay the same. The height's going to be the same. The width is going to change. Margin left's probably going to be the same. And I don't know what we're going to do in regards to positioning it. It's all going to depend upon how it goes on the screen. So I know that the content of this guy is 570 pixels. So that means this horizontal roll is definitely going to have to get a lot bigger. Let's say 560 pixels. File save. Reload it. All right. So yeah, we definitely do not need to have that. The height is almost perfect. Let's change it to 2. File save. Let's see what it looks like if we just don't position this at all. So delete it, file save, reload. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's perfectly centered without any positioning. Okay, so I don't really have to do anything with that. So now we have our excerpt part. We just want to make sure that everything that surrounds all this text and everything that's here all looks real, real nice. Down here, and I called this content excerpt. Probably should have chosen a better name, but hey, you guys wanted to see what it looks like when I do something on the fly, and this is what it looks like. And I'm actually going to copy this guy right here. Copy. Back up inside of here. Paste that inside of there. I don't really know that anything's going to change. I, I kind of really like the way this looks. Let's, let's just take it to 10 for positioning. It's really amazing it all came together this easy. It doesn't always happen this way. Um, you know what? I don't need that. I don't need to position it at all. It looks so tight. File save. Reload. All right. Everything's centered. So I uh, didn't expect it to be quite so easy, but that is how I created that center part. And if we zoom out of this, you can see that it looks really, 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 really tight. Like I said, next time I'm going to convert this whole entire thing into a WordPress theme. It's going to look really tight, real nice. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, till next time.